Welcome back to another episode of Who's On First. I'm your host, Dwayne. And I'm Jason. And before we start, please like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel to help us out a bunch. But let's get to it. Let's talk about, in my opinion, might be the Angels' best player. Well, according right, to... Right now. Right now. Well, according to MLB.com, last week's article, they said the best major league hitter is on the Angels, and it's not Mike Trout. Who is who would it be? Taylor Joseph Ward. That's who. 2015 first round draft pick from the Angels. He is crushing it right now. He is his OPS is 1.209. He's first in the league in OPS behind Mike Trout's behind him. His batting average is 375. He's first in batting average. He is tied for 10th in home runs with nine. He is tied for 21st in RBIs with 23. He is destroying the ball, and Angel haters out there are saying it's luck. He was a first-round draft pick. This dude has some skills. Right. He is just now getting the opportunity to put those skills into play, right. and he's making the best of his opportunity because what he's doing now, he's like, he's almost like where he was career and like and like 50 and like once he gets to 50 games a season if he continues what he's doing he's better than what he's done in career total already right so I, go ahead no go, go go no i was just saying and he's just he's just killing it and i feel like it's about time that the the angels homegrown prospects are finally uh coming up and doing their own uh we had trout was a real last one that we had that really did stuff we right. have adele in the pipeline so we have a few other people in the pipeline but they still need that work but now we have tyler ward who if taylor. if anything or taylor sorry <laughs> i get I, I always call him tyler and i called T tyler wade i call him tyler ward right <laughs> so but anyways but if he continues this way this is an awesome trade bargaining chip come down later on or you have your your right fielder and then you have the other prospects that are easy that you can use for trade bait it's so funny that he's turning out to be um this guy and it, yeah, it's still early but from this is a very large sample size and he hasn't slowed up at all and and i think it's I, one i think it's dope for the angels like you said they haven't had a prospect really show out in a while since trout but to me, the funniest thing about this is Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward should have been and was going to be a Dodger. The reason he is not is because of Artie Moreno. For people who are confused, like, what? Huh? So, a couple years ago, there was a trade that the Angels and the Dodgers made for Ross Stripling and Jock Peterson. Right, the big names in it were Ross Stripling, Jock Peterson, and then the uh, the utility infielder that we got from you guys, or we were going to get from you guys. It was uh, Rufalo, Ruf 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 I think it was. Yeah, Luis uh, Renfo. Renfo, that's who it was. Yeah, so Luis Renfo was like he was the the quote unquote the main piece of this deal, right? However, there was a couple of other lower level prospects that were included in this. One of them, Taylor Ward. He was in this deal, right? And Artie Moreno being Artie Moreno and probably not caring zero about who was in the deal just because it was a Dodger thing. He didn't want to do all that and all this other extra stuff. He obviously, we know the story. He canceled the deal. Deal never went through, which was great that year. Uh, Dodgers won the World Series. Jock Peterson is a big, big reason why. Ross Stripling was used uh, for trade bait to get um, I forgot who he was traded for, but it all worked a out. Bag of maybe. peanuts, <laughs> maybe. Um, but it all worked. No, out. wasn't he part of the? Uh, was he traded to the Blue Jays or did he sign with the Blue Jays? He was traded to the Blue Jays. I just okay. don't remember for. Yeah, I don't remember at the moment. But um, I'm sure you guys are fill or will fill us in, in the comments. But the funny part of it all is that Taylor Ward was going to be a Dodger, and this I think should once again highlight the genius of Andrew Friedman. Because when you think, oh, you think I want this Lewis, Lewis uh, Renfo guy, which is, he's cool. He's fine. We can use him. Definitely. We need to replace some people and Kike, free agent, all those other things. Yeah, that's fine. But actually, <laughs> the guy <laughs> I really want is the guy y'all don't even care about, which is Taylor Ward. Well, it, it, I don't want to burst your bubble. Hold on. I don't want to burst your bubble. But you know, Artie Moreno 
was just fleecing you guys because he's like, oh, we'll dangle this guy, and then we're just going to cancel this deal. <laughs> no, no, I will give him zero credit. He, he, he had no idea. He was being petty, and for the first time, his pettiness worked. All right, but, man, I – now that you bring it up, he is an interesting trade chip. I didn't think that the Angels would trade him because well, I don't see. So that's what I that's what I'm looking at. Is like they have Adele, who obviously they're 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 higher on, right. and and we know that uh, he's going to regress throughout the season. He's not going to keep up these numbers, and if he does, then holy shit, then they they better lock him up. Well, I obviously he's still too young to lock up, but you're going to have to do something. Like no, we ain't going to trade him. You want to trade? You got to give us a bag for him. Right. But I'm just looking at it this way: like we we both said the Angels going down the stretch, they're going to need pitching. Right mm-hmm. now, their pitching actually is like actually doing all right. Yeah, it's not they bad. pulled up. They pulled up that minor leaguer and who pitched a one hitter or right. had that one hit going into the and he's pitching the night. So we'll see what he does tonight. Uh, and they're doing they're doing well, but we know the Angels and their mo. They're going to need help later on down the uh, down the season, so this is always in my mind like, what can you get for this person if he's available, available, and if he's producing at this level? Because right now, I bet you the Angels call up a few teams like, what are you going to give me for him? And a lot of teams will be like, oh, they'll over, they'll overbuy on him, they'll right. they'll overbuy, but give it another month, his numbers may drop down. Then what are you going to get for him? 